Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is episode number 12 in my scripting series. I hope you guys had a great new year. I'm going to try and upload as many videos as I can this year, so apologies for the recent delay in videos. However, it should be back on track now. So, in today's video we are looking at embedded if statements uh, and also else if. So, I'm just going to kick it off and uh, tell you guys about embedded if statements. So, we have an if statement here and what this uh, if statement does is it checks to see if a number is odd or even. So what we're using is we're using the modulus uh, function here and what modulus does is it divides these two numbers together and uh, then it returns the remainder. So the selected uh, condition that I have that's in blue right now is what, what it's going to return is the remainder of this division. So uh, we've got my number set to 5, so if we were to do 5 divided by 2, obviously that's 2.5, uh, so that would be um, 2 remainder 1, because uh, 2 times 2 is 4, and there's 1 left over, so because 2.5 is a decimal, then uh, the, there would be a remainder of 1 here, so it would be 2 remainder 1, so in this case 5 would not be even it would be odd so modulus is a great way to just check if a number is even or odd or a multiple of another number because it will return a remainder and if the remainder is zero then you'll know that it's it's gone into the number cleanly and there's no remainder but if there is a remainder then it's not going to be equal to zero so if you don't understand it too much don't worry yet but basically what this condition does is it decides whether the number is even or not because if the remainder is zero we know it's even and if it's not then we know it's odd so just to show you if I was to run this script check the output it says that it's odd if I was to put an even number in here such as six and I ran the code again it would say that it's even so there we go we have a quick condition here to check to see if a number is even or odd so an if an, an embedded if statement is an if statement inside of another if statement so if we were to put another if statement in here we can just do something else say if my number uh, plus one okay if I was to say if my number plus one is even then print, uh, we can just print my number plus one is even. So what's happening here is if my number here, so six, is, is an even number, then we print that it's even, and then we're running another if statement. I'm adding one to my number, so imagine it's now seven, and we can check if that's even as well, and if it is, we can do another print. So let's find out. So it's just printed that it is even. So obviously this condition must be false because my number add one, which is seven, obviously seven is not an even number. So let's do an else. And let's say else print my number add one is odd. And run it again. And it should say that my number add one is odd. And let's just replace that my number plus one to my number plus one like this and we'll do a two string here as well okay don't worry about this two string by the way that's just uh, making it so that we can uh, print out the number because you have to make it a string as a string is what you print out and you can't go printing out numbers with strings so you have to convert it to a to a string so there we go it's printed that it's even and then it's printed out the uh, my number with one added on which is seven to say it's odd. So you can see we've got an if statement inside of this if statement. But if we were to have an odd an, an odd number here and we do our first condition. So our first condition checks to see if my number which is 5 is uh, is divisible by 2 with no remainder. So whether my number is even or not. So obviously 5 is an odd number. So it's immediately going to sk skip to our else statement and print out that it's odd. So, because it's gone to the else statement, it's not been able to check our if statement here because it's nested, it's embedded inside of our if statement here because anything that's in between this if and this else will only run if the condition here is true. 
If it's not true, then it's only going to print what's in the else statement down here. So what we could do is we could move, we could do another if statement down here, uh, and that would run if the else statement, if the else runs, and it will run regardless of whether it's true or not because we've got it up here and down here as well. So I'm just showing you that you can have an if statement inside of another if statement, that's fine, as long as you you have your end to close it off as well. So you can do as many if statements inside of each other as you like, but each time you do an if statement, then just make sure that you're indenting it each time so that your code is nice and clean and easy to read. Okay, so that's all you need to know about embedded if statements. Now we're just going to look at else if. So else if is similar to having an, uh, an embedded if statement, although it just saves you having to keep indenting and writing out uh, the ends as well, those ends to close off those if statements. So all you need to do, instead of writing else, you can just say else if, like this, and then you just write out your second condition. So if my number, let's just say, um, let's just say if it's a multiple of three this time, okay? Instead of it being a multiple of two, let's check if it's a multiple of three. So we can say, instead of it being odd, say it's a multiple of three. So you can see if the first condition is not met, if it's not true, then it will skip to our else our else if and it will check our second condition to see if it's a multiple of three and if it isn't a multiple of three you can keep on doing these else ifs you can see we're not having to write that end at the end we can just say let's just do another one for multiple of five you can see we've got what two more uh, if statements but we've only got one end and that's because it's a part of the same this big if statement it's, 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 it's the same if statement it's just that we've got multiple conditions in case that the first one or the second one or, or the third one doesn't work and if they all are false if they all aren't true we can say just one normal else and we can print they all did not uh, run so we could put uh, another number in here, such as 2 as our, as our number, and it would print out it's even because it's met the first condition. Or we could set it to 5 and it would go to the third condition here, it would go to the third if here in this else if because it's not a multiple of 2, it's not a multiple of 3, but it's a multiple of 5. So it's going to skip down to our third statement and it's going to print out it's a multiple of 5. But if it is not a multiple of any of those numbers, it will just skip to our else and say that they all did not run. So else if allows you to have multiple conditions in one if statement in case one of them doesn't work and you want to check something else. But remember that you will only get to check these else ifs if the first condition isn't true. So let's imagine that uh, number is multiple of three so if it is a multiple of three that's great it's going to run this line here but then it's not going to run any more else ifs or else's because the the if statement has now been met right the condition has been met so it doesn't have to do any more else's and it will just print it will just go on to the next line of code so let's example say finished down here it will say it's a multiple of three yep yeah, and then it will just skip all of these else ifs here and it will just go to the end of the script and it will say finished so if you do want to do your else ifs and you want certain runs to to certain ones to run in order make sure that you've got them ordered so you might want to check whether it's a multiple of five before it's a multiple of three for example but it doesn't really matter these will only run if your conditions that, that you have previously written are false so there you are that's what else if is it allows you to have multiple you know conditions and, and checks in one if statement um there we go although you, i guess you could say it's it's more than one if statement because you've got ifs here but what, what i mean is they're only going to run if the first if doesn't 
doesn't work if it's false, you see. Um, but there you go. That is else if and also how you use embedded if statements. I will be uh, publishing more videos in the future, so please do subscribe. If you're new, you can click the Avonblox logo in the middle of your screen. If you would like to see the next video, you can click on the thumbnail on the right side of your screen. Now, don't forget to like the video uh, and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.